You're watching 10 Tampa Bay. Tonight, one lucky Floridian is now $783 million richer than they were when they woke up, yeah. matching the Mega Millions numbers. This Publix in Neptune Beach, this is where the winning ticket was sold. So suffice to say, shopping from here on out will be a pleasure for this first. <laughs> Tristan Benavides shows you everyone is trying to figure out who it is. After 31 straight drawings. Let's see if I can make you a billionaire tonight. Only one ticket matched all of the winning numbers for the $1.58 billion Mega Millions jackpot, the largest in the game's history. It's going to be a happy day. There's going to be a lot of talk. The lucky ticket that beat the one in 302.6 million odds of winning was purchased at this public supermarket in Neptune Beach, Florida. It's going to change the whole town. I mean, I think it's going to turn upside down from this. You know, we have no idea. So far, the winner has not come forward, and we may not know who won this jackpot for a while. A new Florida law allows people who win lottery prices worth more than $250,000 to remain anonymous for three months. But residents in this small beach community have their ideas about how to spend the dough. I think that there's just not enough people that are being kind and helping people out. It's a lot of people suffering today, and I'd like to be able to help them. The winner of the third largest jackpot in U.S. history may take a lump sum payout of $783 million, or payments spread out over 30 years. Without a care in the world, I mean, all you can do is just fill your heart at that point. And if they're a Florida resident, taxes won't take as big a bite out of the winnings because Florida has no state income tax. Well, it could be at least five months before we know to claim that $783 million cash. The winner has two months. So 60 days from last night is how much. You have. And then they have the additional have 90 the additional days. Three. So maybe yeah. January before anyone truly would have to come forward. If I was them, I'd get through the holidays, you know, get past Christmas at least. Right? Oh, right? yeah, because you're going to have Shorten cousins coming out the wazoo. <laughs>